Hola mi gente, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a minute since the last video that I have uploaded, but we are here today doing a Q&A. So let's get started. Where am I at with my health journey? So since my last video, um, I have made some progress, um, but I am no longer in the weight loss challenge that I was in in the beginning, so in episode one. Um, so I, it's been a little harder as far as accountability goes. I have definitely still work out, you know, almost every day for an hour a day. Um, I definitely am still watching what I eat. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm still kind of at a stand. So I haven't gained any weight, which is, um, but I haven't lost a whole lot so I'm working on it that's why I haven't uploaded another video yet just because I didn't want to just put one out there just because and then you guys not see any difference from my last video so I am 30 pounds well like 32 33 pounds down still okay so that is awesome for me I'm very proud of myself for that um but yeah it's a work in progress and episode tres will be up eventually so where did i grow up so i grew up in um toppenish washington shout out um i was born in tulare california but my parents migrated um north to uh find work and so we ended up stopping here in washington and i have been living here since i was like i don't know three years old here in washington and so yeah, that is where I grew up. Am I single? No, I am not. I am happily married, okay, to my like high school slash elementary slash, oh my God, it feels like forever, sweetheart. We've been together for um, like 13 years. No, it's more of it. like 15 years we've been together so it's been a long long time and obviously you guys have seen them um if you guys follow me on like snapchat or facebook or everywhere else um that's my man okay the father of my child so yeah what is your spirit animal um if i could think honestly of a spirit animal i would have to say a chubby unicorn okay and i wish i had the little doll with me to show you guys at work we um hand out little animals little like plastic animals to um patients and i came across this chubby unicorn i kid you not imagine a chubby unicorn okay that would be my spirit animal okay i just feel like obviously you know gordita life um, and I just feel like a unicorn is just so fun and colorful and anyways, that's me. Tea or coffee? Um, for sure tea, just because I used to do like two, three coffees a day. Lately, because of just lack of sleep and lack of rest, I feel like I've been doing more coffee lately, which is bad. I, I personally want to stay away from it just because I just don't like the way it's made me feel. So. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Um, I would have to say I love Leslie from Les Do Makeup. I'm sure a lot of you do too. Um, I love Nikita Dragon just because I feel like she's just real. I feel like. And I don't know. I just love that she just says what she means and does what she wants and um, it's all about her just being her and I really like that. And I didn't go into an explanation with, you know, Leslie, but I, I just think she's such a down to earth kind of chick and her and her family are just really cool and to watch and I, mean, I feel like I know them. Um, but yeah, those are the people that I 
I actually, actually, the first YouTuber that I ever started watching was Mikey from Glam and Gore. That girl was the very first YouTuber, shout out, um, that I started watching and that actually introduced me to all of these other YouTubers. Um, so Mikey from Glam and Gore. She's just, she's really cool and I still keep up with her stuff too. So those are my top three I would have to say for sure. Go to hairstyle. Um, if you guys follow me, you guys probably all be, already know it's the mom bun, okay? The notorious mom bun. I just, I'm a nose, you know? That's just the easiest thing for me to do. And yeah, that's, that's my like day to day, every day, every occasion hairstyle, the bun. My go-to fast food, you know what, to be completely honest, I mean, obviously I try to stay away from that stuff as much as I can, um, but I'd have to say food trucks. Food trucks are the best, okay? Some here locally, um, and if you are watching here from my hometown, you guys will know um, Crazy Foods slash Chronic Foods, the best. Buy salsas, shout out. Um, I just got introduced to an, another food truck. It's called, oh my gosh, what was the name? It's something really cool. Um, El Perro Perron, El Perron Perro, something like that. If you guys, you guys know what I'm saying, you guys will know which one it is. I think I messed up on the name, I'm sorry. Um, but that food was pretty good. Um, and then, hmm. Well, well, well. I think those are the, the my go-to food trucks. And I like them because they have the um, keto tortillas, okay? So I really like that they do that for me because not everybody does it, so. My most memorable vacation. And for that, I would have to say our first trip to Hawaii, we our only trip, we've only been there once. But our first trip to Hawaii, Lorenzo and I went um, our first big vacation as a couple. Um, and I was with a child. I was like five months pregnant with my son and we went as a free baby kind of honeymoon kind of thing. And it was just so amazing. It, it went by so fast, but I, oh, I miss it so much, I wanna go back. We just did so much. I mean, even just walking around down to the shops and just lounging around on the beach. And Turns out they had shark sightings at the beach where we were. I'm like, what? Had you told me that, you know, obviously, duh, right? It's not gonna dawn on you, there's sharks, it's the ocean. But how do you tell me that there were sharks up in there? That they were taking a vacation too up in that beach? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. She don't do it. I don't do sharks, you know what I mean? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But anyways, I was like, oh! And I was like up to here in the water, okay? Because Lorenzo would go um, surfing or paddle boarding, I think is what it's called. And so I'd be like, okay, well, I'm gonna get in the water too, you know, just cause I'm pregnant. It doesn't mean you can't do stuff. And um, so I, you know, I got on the water too. And um, yeah, it was, I could only go up to here, obviously. But I was like, yeah, baby, you get it, babe. I'm right here, I'm chilling, I can see you, you know? It was fun. We did hikes, got to check out some really cool restaurants. We went to Waikiki Beach. Okay, that's where we stayed at. Um, it was just, it was really awesome most memorable vacation for sure. What is your favorite music? Ugh, this is so hard because I, I mean, I love orchestra. I love um, Vicente Fernandez, hello. Um, I love, you know, oldies like Richie Valens. I love, you know, Whitney Houston. I love, you know, my go-to Kumbia King. My sisters always make fun of me because whenever it's like, oh, Marta, what music should we put on? Let me get Kumbia King. I'm like, so? They're all hits, you know? Um, I love, 
rap is like ugh, hit and miss to be completely honest. I mean, some stuff I love, like J Hope. Mm hmm. J Z, are you kidding me? Yes. Um, but it's a hit and miss with that. Uh, I love country music. I love. Mm, what else? Obviously, you know, like Spanish, some corridos. Yes. Um, yeah, so it's hard. I mean, most music I will get down to. You know what I'm saying? But, like, mm, mm. but yeah. Yeah. Celebrity crush. <laughs> okay, let's keep it a secret. Okay, don't tell them though. Um, I have a lot. <laughs> I mean, I love like I love Brad Pitt, are you kidding me? Mm. Leonardo, ah, uh, Jalen Hall, mm. uh, Robert De Niro, uh, J Lo, of course, hello, like, excuse me, you tell me, girl, like, what's up? I'll be like, what's up? Where <laughs> it's not so much a celebrity crush for me, it's more like an admiration of their work, and so I have, I have a lot of those. I mean. There are some amazing actors and actresses, musicians, artists in general. And I'm just like, God, you know, I especially love those ones that have literally started from nothing and have made something of themselves, have made a name for themselves and have, you know, surpassed all of these obstacles. And they are just, just leaving their footprint, you know, making their name known. So. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. And those are the people that I admire. If you want to consider that my celebrity crushes, then yeah. there's a lot. There's a lot. If you can be known for one thing, what would it be? Mmm, we're about to get deep up in here. Who wrote these? Um, honestly, I think it would be for wanting to help people. I honestly want for as long as I can remember, I've always tried to be helpful. I've always tried to be there for people, especially when it seems that people don't have anybody. Like those people who are, they can be getting all emotional, um, especially for those people who, you know, they've come across hardships and they don't have anybody as a support system. They don't have or they don't have anybody rooting for them when they're trying to to get it done, to, to succeed. And I feel like that's just my moment to let them know that you're not alone, that you have support, and that I believe in you. So if I can be known for anything, it would be that. What is your current social media addiction? So, <laughs> I'ma tell you what, TikTok is my social media addiction right now. I cannot, I cannot stop, okay? If you guys haven't gone onto TikTok and looked for me, <laughs> you should do that. Of course, money time, my vida loca, yes. Um, I'll be honest, and I've been honest about this. At first, I thought it was lame. I was like, oh my God, no, I'm not gonna do that. I didn't realize that there was a bunch of like funny videos and you know, these all these other things besides just dancing. Um, and yeah, now I cannot stop. <laughs> Why did you start YouTube? Well, I started YouTube to just reach out to other people um, and because I know that I'm not the only one with the struggles that I've been through and, you know, have had to deal with the things that I've dealt with. I mean, I hope I'm not. Um, but I figured if I could be an example of resilience, an example of hitting it hard and being that boss mom that I am a self-proclaimed boss mom, um, then that's what I wanted to do. Um, I, I wanted to have my voice be heard and if I can in turn help others um, and have their voices be heard, then boom, I did it, you know? So I have always liked to have fun. I 
there's a lot of interesting things um, that I've come across and I feel like, you know, not everybody may know about these things. So I figured, hey, I can display it here and have people experience things that maybe they wouldn't otherwise experience had they not seen it here. So that is why I started YouTube. Like I said, I like to have fun. I like to make people laugh. That is just like, you know, when people tell me, oh my gosh, Maritza, you know, that video that you posted or, you know, those things that you did were so funny. You had me cracking up. I'm just like, yay, I did it, you know? So, yeah. All right, my hand so that's all the questions that I have for today. If there is anything else you would like to know about me, please comment down below and we can do another Q&A in the future. But for now, just stay tuned for that next video. It should be up soon. And again, thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for all of your um, comments, um, for submitting these questions. And thank you for all your support. Please follow me on my other social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. No, pues a me queda. So just follow me and stay tuned for more to come. Thank you so much, mi gente. Bye.